Hey, folks! Welcome to the third episode from the Federation of Multi Monitors. On the upper screen, you are looking at Update 10 Beta Release, version 1.27. On the bottom screen, you are looking at the original version of Microsoft Flight Sim, released almost two years ago. I made a video then, in 2020, showing geometric distortions in the sim. These distortions are largely fixed in the Update 10 beta version, as you can see on the top screen. Each of the three monitors at the top displays roughly a field of view of 60 degrees. In contrast, on the bottom screen, the leftmost and the rightmost monitors each stretches roughly 25 degrees worth of stuff over a 60 degree view. These differences become self-evident when you watch buildings zoom past the plane on both sides. Here I paused the sim and looked around with track IR. On both screens, buildings a few hundred yards away panned to the left and back to the right. On the top screen, they keep the same apparent size and distance, no matter where they are. On the center monitor, the left monitor, or the right. In contrast, on the bottom screen, they grow bigger as they leave the center monitor, and they appear to come closer and closer to the plane. You may need to rewatch this video a few times to look again at things I point out, because you'll probably miss them the first time. I recommend that you also watch the first episode from September 28th, 2020. I've linked to it from the video description. Check out the new World Trade Center we are passing by. Note how it turns into a monstrosity on the bottom screen. Here I flipped upside down. You can better watch buildings move across monitors this way. These are the same buildings, yet the monstrosities on the bottom look nothing like those on the top screen. I have barely fired up the sim in the last two years. Every time I was tempted to give it a try yet again, I put it down just as quickly, in disgust. At last, after a two-year wait, I now enjoy this flight sim more than I do explain. Now we see the Empire State Building in the far distance. I'm going to make a counterclockwise circle and eventually come back to the Empire State Building again. I use buildings as the center of my banking turn. On the top screen, those buildings remain constant as an anchor for my turn. On the bottom screen, they morph and fly away in seemingly random directions. My purpose here is to show you one of many reasons why the left monitor is crucial in my left turn. We just flew past the Empire State Building again. We're flying north now, and I will again weave in and out of buildings to show you that even the Update 10, with its multi-monitor support, cannot make the view perfect. Watch the two bezel lines between the three monitors on the top screen. This time, I've paused within a short distance of the two buildings. When I pan left and right, these two buildings cross the two bezel lines. These two places are the remaining areas of the top screen that still suffer from geometric distortions. But I think that's quite acceptable, given the low bar that is the bottom screen in comparison. That's all for now, folks. I'm going to continue tracing the rest of the flight. And you have yet again wasted your valuable time watching yet another useless episode from your favorite people. The Federation of Multi-Monitors. <laughs>